You are listening to Claret and Blue, an Aston Villa podcast brought to you by Birmingham Live. So Matt, it's been a long day. I've been getting creative with the toilet roll challenge. Are you aware of this challenge? The stay at home challenge, I've seen it called the coronavirus challenge. Have you seen the footballers at it? I have. I mean, I have a few toilet roll challenges of my own sometimes when I <laughs> waddle, waddle to the next room to <laughs> with my trousers around me. You don't mean that, do you? You mean the one where people no, are doing little keepy-ups? Basically, for those that haven't seen it, I'll put a footballer's example in first of, of showing it how it's done. I've seen Douglas Louise do it this evening and he's flicking it all over the gaff. Like, we're not that talented. Yeah, 47 takes though, I reckon, so. wasn't he? I don't reckon he's nailed yeah, it first time. De- definitely some dodgy editing going on, 100%. But I've looked at it and thought, do you know what? I reckon we can have a go at that. Yeah. <laughs> I admire your optimism, mate. I admire your optimism. I've seen Ash do it first. Not great, to be <laughs> honest. I think I, I think he only got to a couple. But the main thing when I watched Ash is, I was terrified that he was about to kick the door, weren't you? I just thought, I've, I've played football with Ash. He's very good. I mean, he's playing playing okay. alongside me, who is kind of, I wouldn't say I'm quite twice his age, but I'm kind of half his pace. <laughs> Uh, we actually played <laughs> together on the Hawthorns um, last summer for, okay. for a charity game. Um, and I was kind of patrolling the centre circle and he was kind of the engine room, kind of up and down the pitch. Somebody on Twitter said to me, oh, this is outrageous. You know, I, I can't even get a bog wrong. And uh, I said, well, where do you live? Because Ash's first touch would probably deliver it straight there in one go. It was that bad. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's, um, he's, a, he's a lot t- that I wouldn't put that on his highlights reel. He's a lot tidier a player than that, to be honest. Uh, next up was your effort. Now, talk to me about yours because it's the keep you up challenge and I'm seeing you juggling. Explain. Yeah, well, I did try <laughs> I did try a couple of keep you ups. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, uh, I'm not digging you out there, but... No, I'm no, not, I've, I've tried some. I've, I've knackered my um, ankle with a, a, a recurring five-a-side injury. So I tried it and not only did it hurt my ankle, but I wasn't very good at it. So I thought, yeah. how can I get around this? How can I not completely <laughs> swerve it? But... Uh, <laughs> kind of you know put my own stamp on it so i, I resorted to the my old kind of circus skills lessons from uh yes good juggling to be fair yeah i ain't bad at juggling to be honest um it's i used skill. to um i used to juggle in a church hall in cradley heath back in uh, the early <laughs> 90s mate um but that's you know that's me who wants to hear about my rock and roll life two things stand out here first of all three toilet rolls at once juggling decent i don't know where you've got three toilet rolls from but look after them because they're precious <laughs> You're the only one out of all the other lads to film landscape. I appreciate that. Because I'm trying to put this video together and they've all, they're all doing portrait video. It's, just, it's, just, it's not on. It's poor. It's, it's just basics, isn't it? <laughs> it's just ba- thing is, kind of, you know, proper film directors like me and you know these things, don't we? But yeah, we're dealing, exactly. We're dealing with amateurs, aren't we? Next up, the one I saw next was Richard Cusack, I think. I don't want to be harsh because I'm not great either. But his video's three seconds. He started it and he's already doing one. So I can see that he gets to three, four before losing it. I don't know whether how many did he do before the first one is the question. Well, I've spoken to him. He did. He did. No, he did four hundred and twenty-three before he got oh, the camera it? rolling. Yeah, that's what. He, that's what he said. Yeah. <laughs> was he so good at it? And then he's like, "Oh my god, quick, get the camera! I need to get this on camera." And what it, I like about his is the last seconds of an absolute panic when he realises he's possibly like <laughs> broken a vase. He's going to or... smash the family's ornaments, the family <laughs> yeah. heirlooms. Like he's just kicked a toilet roll at the cat or something. The next one I saw was Steve. Now Ash, Rich, and Steve are all barefoot. I don't know what's going on there. Well, put some socks on, it's cold. Well, especially with the old corona as well. You know, exactly. you don't want to catch it off your own floorboards, do you? Wood, yeah, wooden floor in, in Steve's. Steve's bathroom, I think it is. It looks massive. <laughs> you can only see a little bit, but it looks massive, yeah, his bathroom. you've got to remember Woolly's really short, though, so it might be a perspective <laughs> thing, hasn't it? Might oh, be that. Oh, God. But then just before it cuts off, you can see him about to have another another take. I'm convinced of it. He looks down as if he's about, about to... There's a freeze frame where he looks down as if he's about to give it another go, like... He, he might go in for the extra take, but he might have rege- he might have decided against it, which is a yeah, rare possibly. moment of self-awareness and self-realisation <laughs> from Woolly to know his limits... Next one I saw was Johnny. Is it and again another pronunciation? Johnny Bunnell, I think. Is it Bunnell? Yeah, I always yeah. want to say Bonnell, but I think it's Bunnell. So I think Johnny Bunnell. <laughs> <I'm hoping so. laughs> His is the longest. He sent me eleven seconds, and he's very good at it. Fair does foot. though. He's got it under control, hasn't he? Because everybody yeah. else is kind of adjusting and trying to trying to bring it back into their range. Whereas Johnny, it's kind of almost yeah. like a back back from my um, circus skills trick down at Cradley. Church or it's almost like a Diablo <laughs> on a string the way he just kind of 
gets it under his under yeah. his control. So fair play to him. I also like that Johnny's is clearly in his little home office space set up as well. Like he's he's been busy at work, he's been blasting out some articles and then he's got up, smashed the toilet roll challenge and then got back to work. I love that. Business as usual, isn't it? You know, whereas most people would just go for a coffee break or something or you yeah. know, flick through the phone, he thinks, nah, I'm just gonna own this challenge. Bless him. Should we go save the best till last and go to mine? <laughs> Come on, Ed. Do you want me to watch unreal. it now? I know you've I sent it me. and I'm. So I've sent you a rough draft. It's not perfect just yet. Okay, I'm going for it now. Okay. 27 seconds. But it's, it's great. It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> also film landscape, obviously. Look at the... Oh, look at that. Look at the technique. Oh, oh mate, what mate. a finale that is! How good is that? That was, my, that, that was my job for today. <laughs> the only way you could have bettered it is by kind of showing yourself wiping your backside on it at the end of it. Um, <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. But you're probably kissing your own backside as it is anyway. I, know, for, for I, the, I mean, listen, I knew you. I knew you were a good, you know, a good movie man, a good editor. This is why we recruited you in the first place. But if I'd have known you were that good at football, mate, it's I know. just. Uh, Unbelievable. This is what I'm saying. John, Johnny's got to about 11, but I, I've got to late 30s there. So I'm, 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 there was no editing in that. Like I, that, I shot that as as it was. It just I just happened to be like that. Oh, you have too much time in your life, I know. mate. Yeah. Mate, it's literally my job. Like if I said when somebody, when whoever nominated me to do it, I think it was you. I said if I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna take it seriously. I'm gonna do it properly. It's that little uh, that little look when you're sitting at the table drinking the, the <laughs> cup. It's as if you're kind of you know proper method acting there, aren't you? You're properly, uh... mate. You should see the outtakes. There's a few outtakes. I'll stick <laughs> oh, them mate, in. Oh, don't here. don't waste them, mate. That's next week's content. <laughs> no, I'll put the outtakes in here now because they were yeah. It took a while to do all that. I'll give a shout out to my sister who filmed it for me decent camera work she's she's claiming the big credit about oh look how good it looks but i was direct and it wasn't i was telling her do this do that so i'm basically taking all the credit for that one myself fair play for a film for remembering to film it landscape though mate she deserves credit for that been a, it's been a weird day we're living in weird <laughs> times <laughs> but you know we've got to, we've got to make something funny haven't we? we've got to have a bit of a laugh so why not put the extra bit of effort it's only, it only took me four hours so it's fine <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. It didn't take that. Like, it took longer. Than it, like I've put far much more effort in than I should have, but it didn't take four hours. I, we put more effort into the half and half scarf video, so mm. I'm expecting the same level of retweets and stuff when I post that this evening. Otherwise, what what is the point? Before you kind of worked your wizardry <clears throat> jiggery pokery on it, yeah. how many can you act? You know, let, let's level with all um, all the, the the viewers. How many could you actually do without them? Um, I'll find my best take and put it in here. I think I got to around seven. I think there was a knee and a couple of flicks around the kitchen. Uh, the fact we've managed to get even at over a five minute video out of this nonsense shows that we're really, really, really scraping the barrel at this point. But I've had a laugh. I can tell you you've had a laugh. I've brightened up your day a little bit. I hope the audience at home has had a nice little laugh as well. And uh, we'll be back next week for another challenge. That maybe we'll invent another one this time. And I don't know three-legged race and wheelbarrow races and there's all the, the options are limitless mate we can do all sorts if you've got any suggestions for challenges let me know because i'm having a great time <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness me, mate it's exhausting it is absolutely exhausting life is exhausting everybody uh, out there stay safe look after yes. yourself have a smile we'll have a laugh and i'm gonna have a lasagna and some punk nice. ipa lovely stuff we'll see you soon thank you very much and uh good night cheers <laughs> well done everybody <laughs> Thank you for listening to Claret and Blue, an Aston Villa podcast. If you enjoyed today's episode, then please let us know. We love hearing your feedback. We'll be back soon with another episode. Until then, up the villa. Up the villa.